Alessandro and Eric join us now. They're from Halo App, and they join us in studio. Guys, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. To an Ultra Dame, guys. That's right. All right. I'm going to be out in Ultra Dame in a few weeks. So I'll send you best when I'm out there. Yeah, please do. Awesome. And you said there might be some Halo posts. Uh, posts there should be. There. Yeah, we've been working on them on some partnerships, so we're excited. Right. Yeah. So, Eric, let's start with you. Uh, tell us about your journey um, to really um, founding this company and how all that happened. Yeah, so Halo is very much a personal journey for everybody on the founding team. Uh, we all went, went to Notre Dame. We're part of a very strong faith community there. But then afterwards, we went to, uh, to you know, a bit hectic and stressful professional jobs, you know, working 80 to 90 hours a week, and then we were faced with kind of two problems. On the one hand, we were still trying to grow in our prayer lives and our faith lives, but without that strong faith community. And then the other hand, we were also trying to find some stress and some peace from this hectic job. Mm. And, you know, one of the things that came our way was this, this new trend in mindfulness meditation, uh, some of the more popular apps like Headspace and Calm are the two biggest now. And basically it gets you to take 10 minutes out of your day and just to breathe and to, to kind of be more present. And we found that to be helpful. But at the same point in time, it felt like it was trying to be like a, a spiritual and religious experience, but felt too disconnected from our Catholic mm. faith. Mm -hmm. So then the, the, the question that followed was kind of, well, is there some kind of intersection between, you know, these like meditative practices and our Catholic faith? Uh, and then as soon as we started researching it, the answer is, is of course, there's you know, thousands of years of a beautiful tradition of contemplative prayer within the Catholic Church. And so we started implementing those into our own prayer lives and found that it was exactly what we were looking for. It not only allowed us to, to live in God's peace, but also helped us to continue to, to grow in our faith lives. And as, so as soon as we you know, tried them out ourselves, we knew that we wanted to, to try to get the word out. And we said, well, if, uh, if these apps can get mindfulness meditation to be super popular, then why can't we make something for Catholic meditation? And so, you know, here we are after a few weeks of prayer and a lot of discernment. Uh, we quit our jobs, and now it's been about uh, almost exactly a year since that happened. You, so. you took that leap. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, so the, so you, ha you come up with the idea, and you, you have a group of friends who come together who, who want to bring this forward. But you have, to, you have to do it. So, Eric, you did Kickstarter. And then you formed the team. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure, absolutely. So I think, you know, step one was, do we think we could actually do this, right? And we've been very blessed that even as friends coming together, we have a lot of complementary skill sets and come from different backgrounds. And so we spent a weekend in a room with four whiteboards and kind of sketched it out and said, you know, could we do it ourselves? What would it look like? And uh, one, of our, one of our friends, we worked to kind of build the first very bare bones version of the app, gave it to our friends and family and said, you know, let us know what you think. Um, we, you know, God works in, in great ways, and we had one vocation coming out of that first beta test, which was absolutely wow. phenomenal. Um, and so we said, you know, even if that's all we ever do, that would be a huge win for us. So we, that's when we took it, started taking it really seriously. We uh, expanded the team, did some development over the summer, and uh, launched a Kickstarter to get the word out. Uh, and we're, by the grace of God, launched in December, so we're three, four months old now. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And walk us, Alessandro, walk us through the app a little bit. Uh, sure. So what does it do? Um, uh, how does it help? How do you get connected? Absolutely, yeah. So first and foremost, it's an audio-guided Catholic meditation and prayer app. So the idea is to help people either form or continue to develop their prayer life through audio-guided sessions. So we organize content, you know, 5, 10, 15-minute sessions around different techniques. We have daily content, things from the examine, the Lectio Divina, spiritual writing, kind of your classic mm -hmm. contemplative prayer techniques. Uh, and make them in bite-sized formats. And then we also organize those techniques into different themes, so we call playlists or playlists of prayer, things on hope, humility, joy, letting go, making decisions. And within each of those, we kind of tee up all those different techniques and make it accessible to you in the language of your everyday life. So you guys have this all produced too, so you have to produce all this content. Yeah, absolutely. Is that hard? It's, the, well, thanks to, uh, we have a, a, an amazing team of uh, a few people who, who graduated with, with us from Notre Dame, and including a, a master's in theology and one of our friends now who's actually going through the seminary and finishing up his, his master's of divinity. And so fortunately, uh, those guys take care of everything and, and, and do an excellent job. So. And so this is all, this is on iOS, it's on Droid. What is the target audience, uh, or do you even have a target audience? Yeah, so when, when we first launched it, we definitely expected, you know, we built it initially because it's something that we really needed in our own prayer lives. And so we anticipated that we would largely be, be working with, you know, young professionals like ourselves. But 
uh, we've been pleasantly surprised over the last few months as they've started to come in that we really see a wide spectrum, everything from ages you know, 13 and 14, people using it even in the classroom with younger, with younger students, all the way through uh, you know, 65 and, and older with just a, a bit of a spike at that, at that young professional level there. Well, it, it sounds fantastic. Great to have you out here today. Where can people find out more information? Where can people download the app? How do they do it? Absolutely. So like you mentioned, both on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, if you just search Halo, will be the first thing that comes up. If you want to hear more about our story, you can go to our website, halo.app. And uh, we also have blogs there. We share our thoughts on uh, different Catholic things and just what we're struggling with ourselves and our journey. So. All right, so I'm, I'm supposed to wrap this up. I'm going to ask one more thing, though. Kevin, Kevin, you have to wait, Kev. I got one more. How much fun has this been for you guys to do this? It's been, it's been amazing. I can't, I, as soon as I started working on it, I was still working, you know, 80 to 90 hour full weeks, and I would finish my work at like 11 p.m. and then just work on Halo until 1 or 2 in the morning. And I realized that every day all I was doing was looking forward to to those uh, three hours before bed and just staying up as late as I could to work on it because it just felt like something that we were truly called to. And so then by the time it came around to, to quitting and going full time, I uh, haven't looked back since. It's just been, it's been the blessing of a lifetime. Good friends, good work, good product. It all came together. Thanks so much for being with us, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again.